Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Who remembers that time where we happened to stumble upon Lori Lightfoot's personal Yelp account? Giving us a real personal look into who Lori Lightfoot is outside of her political persona. It was a fascinating read, a fascinating story, one of my favorite all-time videos that I've ever made, at least topic-wise. Well, it might be happening all over again, or at least a very similar event, this time with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I can't confirm nor deny the absolute validity here, but the evidence is certainly suggesting that it is in fact the case. We may or may not have stumbled upon Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's burner account on Twitter, giving us a glimpse into the mind of AOC. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so let's first start off with the context. It's actually a continuation of the whole libs of TikTok slash AOC office story that I covered yesterday. Or actually the day before, I don't know. I've been stockpiling videos, so stuff is releasing at kind of random times. Alejandra Caraballo tweets, At AOC told Chaya Raychik, aka Libs of TikTok, that she's transphobic straight to her face when she ran into her. AOC then quote tweeted that tweet, writing, You bet I did. NYC doesn't play with bigots and transphobes, and neither do I. Have a great day. Stunning and brave. Then an individual with the Twitter name, Joe Biden hates black people, writes, But you vote to send money to Nazis and to fund the Israeli apartheid. He then followed up with a tweet that went absolutely mega viral on his personal timeline. Yo, AOC has burner accounts. I responded to one of her posts reminding her that she sends money to Nazis, and some random account responded to me speaking in first person as if I attacked them. Then the same person deleted the tweets. Following up with a clip on TikTok, I found AOC's burner account showing us the evidence. Y'all never gonna believe this. <laughs> So here I am, minding my own business, going around Twitter, calling out politicians, blatant hypocrisy like I normally do. And I come across a video from AOC. So in this particular video, AOC meets the creator of Libs of TikTok for the second time, but this time she acted super outraged. She said, you're actually transphobic and I wanna share any space with you. And she was like super brave all of a sudden, right? So. So I just reminded her that she isn't actually all that brave and she's actually not all that much of an ally and she's not as averse to bigots as she pretends to be at times, right? So as you can see right here, I said, but you vote to send money to Nazis and to fund the Israeli apartheid, but at least you stood up to a TikTok star. And this account randomly responds to me saying, LOL, and what makes you think that I did anything to support Nazis? You're delusional. Seek help. Obviously, I thought that was a little bit peculiar because all of a sudden this random account speaking in first person when I'm directly responding to AOC and like, why would I think a random account is sending money to Nazis, right? So I was like, maybe I'm just tripping. Then she responds again. It says, and hiding behind being a TikTok star, like, I don't know, you get over yourself. I was confused, so they, they responded twice. So as I began to put the piece together, I'm like, let me check if they deleted the tweets, because I think that I just figured out some shit. <laughs> Y'all, she deleted the tweet. <laughs> so it was in this moment that I realized we have just found one of AOC's burner accounts. <laughs> and what makes it even worse is that immediately, once I, when she realized that I figured it out, she blocked me with the burner account. But once, the, once my tweet started getting too much traction, she deleted the account. Well, first she deleted thousands of tweets. Then she deleted the account altogether, bruh. But that's not the important thing. I don't want us to get too distracted, all right? The important thing is, this is a bill, H.R. 7691, to vote to send money to Nazis in the Ukraine, okay? And this is their queen voting to send money to Nazis. So that outrage she displayed when running into the founder of Libs of TikTok was just as fake as that burner account. She doesn't despise bigots, and she's not an ally to anybody but her
Look, the man comes with the receipts, it's hard to deny the evidence. Now the first thing that I want to point out here is this trend that continuously pops up with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You know, you would think that somebody who's really tuned in to political discussion would instantly know what this individual was referring to when he said sending money to Nazis. Anybody who follows political narratives knows that he's referring to Ukraine and all those Nazi militia groups scattered across regions between the Russia and Ukraine border. But apparently, again, we don't know 100% that this is AOC, the New York Congresswoman displays her complete ignorance of popular topics of debate and discussion by not having a clue what this individual is referring to. He then comes with the claim showing her voting record. And my perception of the interaction here is I don't think it's a right-winger who's attacking AOC. It seems almost as if this person's more in the middle maybe possibly left-wing, or maybe even a far-left socialist who thinks AOC is just simply a fraud. Pretending to be a political outsider, but then voting with all the establishment bills, falling in line with Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden's demands, and in that criticism, I have to admit, he raises a very fair point. Now on the million-dollar question, is this in fact Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's personal burner account? I'm leaning towards it probably is. Now at first I thought it could just be some anonymous Twitter troll, playing some sort of epic troll 5D chess move, but the video is quite convincing. The almost instantaneous, oh crap, what did I do? I just spoke in the first person and then deleting the tweet. And now if this is in fact Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, well it gives us a real look into who she is personally. Off the job. And boy it's not a pretty look. AOC wants everyone to take a real serial. She's a real serial politician with really good ideas on how to revolutionize the world. Where exactly does she get her ideas from? Well if we go on to her Zaza Demon account, it seems like the large majority of individuals that she follows are political Twitch stars, you know, Gen Z and millennial Twitch communists like Hasanabi, H3H3 Ethan Klein, Vosh TV, and The Surfs TV. Yikes. No wonder not a single bill ever written by Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez has ever even made it to the floor of Congress. We now seem to understand the source of her thinking and her worldview. But all jokes aside and having fun, I'm actually not sure and I'm not convinced that this is an AOC burner account. It's not like we'd ever really be able to definitively come to a conclusion, unless AOC admitted it, where Zaza Demon on Twitter writes, Good, too long these roles went to white cis males, let a female have a turn. What's wrong? Threatened? Another individual responds, Good morning. Morning, Congresswoman. What are your Easter plans? Then the Zaza Demon individual responds, celebrating Trump's indictment, smiley face, essentially feeding into this whole I'm actually AOC's burner account thing, but I actually think it's just an elaborate troll. In previous responses to AOC tweets, there's interactions like AOC is a strong, independent individual, she doesn't need a job, idiot. The rich hog all the money. There's not enough for POC slash LGBTQIA plus individuals. Another individual writes, do you always talk as if you're AOC? The response from the Zaza Demon account then writes, another white cis male trying to tell me what I am. Wish I was surprised. These tweets seem fundamentally unserious. It seems like a troll account. But at the end of the day, I mean, you really never know. AOC's favorite go-to line might actually be, you're a white cis male, you really don't know, and quote, the rich hog all the money. It seems like someone purposely trolling. At the end of the day, we'll probably never truly solve this mystery, but it certainly is entertaining, and I thought you guys would get a kick out of this one. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know that we'd love to have you here in the liberal hive mind community. We'd welcome you with open arms. Thanks for watching, people, and I'll see you on the next one.